Davis interviewing John Capetius from Tevin on the Point. Thank you, Michael. I look forward to the interview. I appreciate you coming out here and interviewing me today with the community outreach program from our 1,500 square foot rooftop patio. We're going to ask you some questions here. Thank you. Happy to answer. Is there a meaning behind the name Tavern on the Point? I'm actually glad you asked that question. Absolutely. Myself and my brother Joe, we believe that in anything that we do like this or any of these restaurants that we're opening up, we want to dive a little bit into the history of, you know, the area. The history of this area, this area was settled by a German family called Abinger family. There's actually a public school over here on Pratt named after the family. They came out of downtown in the early 1930s to get out to Lake Forest. With their horse and buggy, they come traveling west because of the branches of the Chicago River. You had to go west before you can get back east to the lake, right? When they got up to this area, their horse got bit by a snake and died. They didn't know what they could do. They couldn't move on, right? So they had to settle here. They originally called this, because it was a German settlement, Dutchman's Point. That what is the point that is the point what is between what is now Chicago, Niles, and Park Ridge. That's Dutchman's Point. We figured, let's just call it Tavern on the Point. The furthest point northwest in the city of Chicago. You pride yourself for being known for, and what makes Tavern on the Point stand out from other restaurants in the area? Great questions, Michael. Tavern on the Point is a brand new built business, right? Like I told you guys. We built this and we created a design that we found more prevalent in like the Miami Beach, South Beach area. Uh, lots of open outdoor space, high ceilings, industrial look, black them out, the inside could open up to the outside. But what makes us stand out? All of our outdoor space, right? Our excellent service, um, our fantastic cuisine. There's nobody better than Chef Edwin Esquibel. And our service, and uh, our, all of our employees, of course, are trained by Miss Nicole Orlando. But that's what makes us stand out, that's what makes us who we are, and that's also what we're known for. The drinks do you serve here? We serve, you know, kind of what, the, 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 the kind of drinks you would find in a tavern, the kind of drinks you'd find in a supper club, right? We're, our liquor sales are far higher than, you know, beer and wine sales and things of that nature. People come here, they want a craft cocktail. We're very good at creating those craft cocktails. That's why people want to come here. My favorite cocktail, our cocktails are seasonal. So right now in the winter, we have the old fashions, right? They sell like crazy. You have the Aperol Spritz for more spring. You have, you know, frozen uh, frosés, you know, wine mix, you know, frozen drinks all kinds of different stuff. We could do anything, and we have done anything. But you could check out a list of our drinks, you know, and they are seasonal. Like for St. Patrick's Day, this whole month of March here, we have St. Patrick's themed drinks coming up. For Valentine's Day, we had Valentine's Day drinks, you know, that we created. Uh, we try to get as original and as fun as we can and stay as fresh as possible so that people that, you know, continue to come here, it's a new experience every time. What is your most fav famous food here? My most famous? Well, if you're talking famous and best-selling, you know, I mean, best-selling is one thing, famous is another thing, but they kind of walk hand in hand. Our best-selling appetizer is our fried calamari. I mentioned that. Absolutely outstanding. People rave about it all the time. Um, we have prime steaks, you know, prime meat, ribeyes, New York strips, filets, a, a bourbon glazed pork chop, all the best meat you could possibly get. Uh, from the best purveyors, our Whittingham meats. There uh, actually goes one of our beautiful chefs, Teresa Castillo, our sous chef, and Edwin Esquivel, our head chef. Will you open any more restaurants? Ooh, the goal, great question. The goal was always to open up more restaurants. We're still young and, you know, full of energy. So if COVID didn't happen, we would have had two more of these restaurants opened up already. We're not interested, myself and my brother, or our general manager, Nicole, in operating just one establishment here in the Edison Park Entertainment District. We are interested in multiple locations, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Some of them are gonna be around here in the Chicagoland area. Some of them are gonna be out of state, in warmer places, as we sit on our 1,500 square foot roof patio with a little chill in our bones. What is your favorite food here? 
Actually, it's another great question. Um, my favorite dish I actually, I actually uh, had to make myself in a WGN interview on live television. My favorite dish here is the linguine de pêche. It's linguine with uh, shrimp, calamari, and also uh, uh, mussels. How has business been after COVID? Business has certainly been a struggle. Um, obviously, you know, locking everybody down, telling restaurants, bars, and other small family-owned businesses that they cannot let patrons come into their establishments is hard. It also created a labor crisis as well for, you know, a lot of the industry employees. You know, most of them, because they couldn't work in the restaurant business anymore, they decided to take jobs like factory jobs and stuff like that. So we're dealing with a labor crisis too. Um, but I can tell you this, Michael, at Tavern on a Point, we're always doing better than most. What made you want, want to make this restaurant? Well, back when I was growing up, there was a place over here where Moretti's exists now called Basta Pasta. But I was always fascinated in the, in the hospitality industry because, frankly, I love people, you know? And I want to be hospitable. Ever since Basta Pasta saw the success that they had over there and the type of venue that they are, myself and my brother, who is also my partner, Joseph Capetius, we decided we wanted to put a, uh, a spot like we did here in this Edison Park neighborhood. It's a mile from our home, and it's also, you know, one of the greatest entertainment districts in the city. How do you handle a busy shift? Another great question. Um, very carefully. Uh, basically, what I would do is hand everything off to my excellent general manager, Nicole Orlando, and say, handle this busy shift. Now, basically, what you have to do is preparation's key, like in anything, right? In any sports that you guys may play or whatever you're doing, you know, your schoolwork, all that kind of stuff. You got to study, right, to be successful. So if we make sure we know who's on reservation, we gauge how many people are, might be coming in, and we ready ourselves for that busy shift, prepare ourselves for it, it's going to be a piece of cake, you know? If we get all frantic and we get all, uh, you know, nervous and anxious about what we're doing, then of course we're going to cramp up and, you know, slow ourselves down. But that's exactly how we get through it, as carefully as possible and as quickly as possible with the best service and with a smile. What is Tavern known for? Tavern is obviously known for its food, number one, first and foremost, its drinks. Being a tavern, you know, we are also an entertainment establishment. So our entertainment, we're always having live entertainment, DJs, you know, different uh, musical acts like Terry Byrne, Tony Ocean, all of that kind of good stuff. Bringing in all of, uh, you know, the patrons that love to, you know, listen to that kind of music and follow those type of acts. Thank you, Mr. Capetius, for taking your time out of your day to answer our questions for our community connection. Not a problem at all, Michael. It was my pleasure. And we look, uh, one thing I want you guys all to know is when you're talking about community connections, none are made more than here, Tavern on the Point. And I hope to see y'all real soon.